I came across a video on YouTube that I think is very interesting and I'm gonna go over it really briefly on this channel. It is from a creator named Manny Ortiz. Now, if you don't know who he is, he is a portrait photographer, which means he takes pictures of people. Well, Manny Ortiz is a professional. This is what he does in his real life, but he's also a YouTuber as well. And he shares a lot of his knowledge, tips, tricks, and things like that on his channel. So I recommend you go check him out if you don't know who he is. But more than likely, if you watch this channel, you already know who he is. Well, he just released a video not too long ago talking about what happened to him on one of his recent trips. So he went to Italy to film some stuff. Now this was a gig that he had. This was some actual work that he was doing. And when he went, he took a lot of his gear there. And while he was there, well, something unfortunate happened to him. Over $16,000 worth of camera gear was stolen from me. My think tank carry-on was filled with all of my favorite camera gear. He explains in a video that he is a very vigilant person and he is very situationally aware, which means that he's always looking around when he's out shooting or just when he's doing his regular day-to-day -day thing because he understands that there are dangers out there and he has to basically keep his head on a swivel, which I 100% agree with because I'm like that myself. And this is a good lesson to learn, even apart from photography and videography, it's just to always keep your head on the swivel. However, that's not the biggest lesson for this channel that I think is in this video. While he's there, his gear gets stolen. And when that happens, there's really nothing you can do most of the time, especially if you didn't see the person who took it and it's just gone which is the case with Manny Ortiz. It can happen to anyone. So insurance is not that much money. I would recommend it to anyone out there. I don't care what kind of insurance you get, but PPA insurance for personally, everything worked out great. I got $15,000 worth of my gear back. Some of it I can't recover, but I got $15,000 worth. And uh, you know, whew, man, I dodged a bullet there. And in this video, he talks about having insurance for your gear, which I think is a great lesson and something we should all go by. As we keep buying all these lenses and cameras and monitors and all these different accessories that help us be better at our craft, it does add up over time. And you don't wanna be in a situation to where if something happens to it, whether it gets stolen, whether you drop it, or just some unforeseen happens, you wanna be insured. And I think that is a great lesson to learn from this video. But again, I don't think that's the main lesson or the main takeaway for this video, in my opinion. I think there's something more that we can take away. Now, as Manny was there in Italy, he mentioned that he wasn't able to shoot with all the different cameras that he had brought with him, obviously because they were gone. But he did something here that I think is very important. You know, I knew that I had insurance through PPA. So I was confident that when I get back, I'll, I'll get my most of my gear back. But the issue is I was there to make content and now I don't have nothing to film with. All my stuff is gone. All my GoPros, all my video cameras are gone and I'm here to film content. So what I did for the rest of the trip, I pretty much filmed on my iPhone, my iPhone 14 Pro and with the Moment app in the whatever, the the log, the fake log profile that, that they were, that they had, I mean, it worked, but I filmed everything on my iPhone from that point on. So I made it happen, I made it work, but I didn't have the filters to finish off the video that I was working on for the other sponsors. So, you know, I made the best of the trip for what it was, and it could have been one of the worst days of my entire life, but I got everything back. I got everything back and I made the best of the trip and I still filmed everything on my iPhone, everything worked out great. The iPhone footage surprisingly worked well. Not one person complained about the quality of the video, which was cool. He used his iPhone 14. Now, he said that it didn't give him any problems. And even when he delivered the video, no one said anything about the quality of the video because it was just good enough. Now, this is where I think the biggest lesson, at least for this channel, can be learned. Now, if you don't know, and if this is your first time watching this channel, I talk about a lot of gear that isn't expensive. 
I'll talk about things like the ZVE-10, the kit lens, and basic things just to get you up and running. I don't feature a lot of two, three, four, five thousand dollar pieces of equipment on this channel. There's nothing wrong with that, but for this channel, I like for people to know that you just don't need all of that stuff to get good quality. Now, obviously, if you're doing certain things and you have certain clients that need deliverables that require a lot of resolution or these specific pieces of gear, that's totally different. But I'm talking about most people who watch this channel. You just don't need gear that's that expensive. Now back to Manny Ortiz and why I think this is very important that he uses iPhone 14 is because with all the gear that he had stolen and he goes through the list of everything he has, which is some high quality stuff. But even with all of that stuff missing, he pulled out his phone and he was able to get quality footage. Now the takeaway from this is nothing new. I've said this many times on the channel here, which is you simply don't need expensive gear. What's more important is your knowledge on how to use it. And this is what ultimately saved Manny in the situation. It wasn't his insurance because they couldn't do anything while he was there in Italy. It wasn't his situational awareness because obviously they still got away with it. It wasn't any of that stuff. What it was, was the time that he's put in over the years to hone his skills and to be able to know how to work the equipment that he has. And that equipment did not need to be top of the line equipment. It just needed to be able to capture a picture in a way that was usable. And that's what he was able to do. So again, I just wanted to go over this video quickly and remind you guys on this channel that although I talk about gear and although I will feature some videos that have some things in it that may cost a little bit more than you can afford, or maybe something that may be out of your reach, you don't necessarily always need these things. As you progress in your work and as you progress in your videography and your photography, sometimes these more expensive things will be things that you may want or things that you may need to accomplish certain tasks. So I'm not saying that expensive gear is irrelevant and that it's just all about the price because expensive gear is necessary in some cases but I don't want the term you get what you pay for and you know you need to buy something high quality because if not it's going to fail you that that's just not the case in every situation what's going to be more important again is your skill level and the time that you put into learning your craft let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments below but until next time I'll holla at y'all later I'm out peace